She ain't got a lap dance from a single mom. <laughs> What's up everybody? Austin Robinson here. Some of you may know me as Space Case and today to give you a little backstory on the video I used to run a little like podcasty talk show type thing called Happy Hour back in 2016-2017 and what I would do is invite friends over to my bedroom. We would drink beers and we would pick one topic and just think of all the negative stuff we could say about it and just complain for about an hour and then cut it down to short 20 minute episodes. So if you're familiar with my channel and you've been watching some of my latest videos you know that a good friend of mine, Shane, passed away recently. So I went through, watched all the happy hours, cut out some of what I consider to be Shane's best moments on that little talk show. And today we're just gonna go through, watch some of his best things, and I'm gonna talk about why I liked those things and why I chose those episodes as my favorite ones that Shane has taken part in. These are in no particular order from like least favorite to favorite. I just picked five episodes that I really liked. So episode number one, I think was the first one we ever did together. And it was all about siblings. And I really liked this one because Shane has so many siblings. Like, he has brothers, sisters, he's got cousins that he considers brothers and sisters. Shane's got a big family, and he was close with all of them, so he has a lot of stories. And I've worked for his family, so I know all of them. And, yeah, just him telling the stories. It was really funny to see, like, you know, behind the scenes of the people you're working with and getting to know stories about them. And all the stories he was telling, he was laughing about. Like, no matter what he went through with his brothers, sisters, cousins, he loved them all. And... You you can really see that in the episode, so that's why I chose that one for number five. So let's check out Best of the Siblings episode. It's a hard knock life for Shane. Today's topic is going to be siblings. So Shane has like 40 <laughs> siblings of yeah. every shape, size, and color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a black little brother, so we might as well just break the ice with that one right here. So my older brother... <laughs> mind you okay um just got this brand new pair of shoes all right nice pair of adidas it was nice they were chilling by my back door <laughs> bathrooms by the back door all right may or may not have pissed my brother off that night go put my shoes on the next morning the dog the dog the dog pissed in my shoes <laughs> my my sister beat my brother up with a vacuum cleaner I almost asked why, but then I just know them. I just <laughs> no, know them, and this literally could have been like he just said, like, "Hey, Krista, hey, how are you?" Your shoes untied. <laughs> like I asked my brother-in-law a solid seventeen times before he proposed to her. Like, are you sure? It's like you positive you want to do this now. It's like you realize what you're getting yourself into. And I think he put down a beer every time I asked him that. The Shane gets your shit straight. <laughs> He's Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> no. Austin has weird toes. I do. Look at the tiny little one without the nail. Ooh, that's nice. Like when I come home completely wasted and Emily's like the only one I can like understand. <laughs> You're just on And her I'm just like, Emily, I, I, I need food. She's Emily. like, I, I got you. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Nuggets. I was actually late to picking up Emily at the skating rink last night because I totally forgot that I was supposed to pick her up at nine and it was like, it was like 10 after nine and she texted me and she was like, where are you at? And I was like, oh shit. You're a terrible sibling. <laughs> I've never been late you know, picking them up ever. I'm always early because I want to be there for them so they don't panic. You're horrible. She's fine though. She's like 13. That's horrible. My grandma used to leave me alone when I was like seven. My brother raps and I'm trying to make him famous so you should go check that out. I'm just going to keep it a hunter. I love you as much as I do. But you're still assholes. So the second episode I chose was the Thanksgiving one. On this particular year, Shane was flying to California for Thanksgiving, and then he ended up going to Arizona to have Thanksgiving dinner with some people that he knew out there. And he actually ended up moving out there eventually, so I thought that was kind of just some cool foreshadowing of him mentioning that he was going out there and then eventually moving there. But he just kept going on about mashed potatoes. <laughs> And again, just more stories of his family. So that's why I chose the Thanksgiving episode, mainly because I just wanted to watch him talk about mashed potatoes over and over and over again. All right, today we're going to be doing a Thanksgiving episode. When I think of Thanksgiving, I think of the lady on the kayak floating down the mountain of mashed potatoes with gravy. <laughs> that's like me. That's my spirit animal. I make a volcano. <laughs> that's like my spirit animal is like the lady going down the mountain of mashed potatoes on the kayak. I make a volcano of my mashed potatoes and then yep. have the gravy, the gravy right in the middle. 
I didn't tell you this. I'm flying out to Cali next week too. Are you? Yeah. That's so cool. I won't be here for Thanksgiving. So what are you doing out there? Lit to that. I am flying out to see Dustin. Oh, that's awesome. And then we're driving from there to Arizona to go eat dinner with his com family. That's and, sick. Um, Your and grandma invited me to Thanksgiving one year. She probably did. She really did. <laughs> I probably wasn't even invited, but you probably were. Like, the best is the arguments. Nothing gets better than that, dude. What does your family argue? My, <laughs> dude, it's seriously, it's it's a good like we high five each other if we get through a holiday without like That's arguing. Funny. It'll be something stupid. Like, hey, pass the <sighs> butter. Pass the butter. <laughs> Not me. Nothing stopping me from stuff in my face. I think the only year I ever got stopped on Thanksgiving was when my grandma burnt. The turkey that uh that did happen and it house alarms like the like alarms two? were going off and it was like something from a movie and it was like that's wild on the oven and it's like yep yeah, well we either order takeout or we're going to aunt bernie's aunt bernie's it was and then we just ate thanksgiving there for like that's the funny. longest time do you guys eat white meat or dark meat i personally like white meat when it comes that's to it. my turkey but not my women. You just tell little Warren that the turkey's chicken. <laughs> People that don't have a... God damn it. <laughs> Did your whole family come to your house for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Actually, well, we go to Krista's now. Our whole family goes there, and then her husband's whole family comes there. He goes there. too? Yeah. Oh my god. He comes to the house. All at Krista's house. They all fit? It's insane. Now, it, it's and like... How much food do they make? A lot. A lot. Like, we were, we're literally feeding, like... Six families. Like, I think there's maybe like nine people at Thanksgiving this year for us. Oh, you see, you think me, Bobby, Krista, my grandma, my mom, my grandpa, my uncle, the two kids, and then my uncle's girlfriend. That's ten right there. What about that's like, just my household. What about like Warren, Emily, and all them? Yeah, well, the two kids. That was Emily and Bobby. Uh -huh. So then, say then you count Warren. I was gonna say Warren, little and Warren. And then, um. Preston, Harper now, and Krista John, so that's 15. And then, who else from my side of the family comes to Thanksgiving? Jeez, and then 15 from one side. Then Chris and his wife and their kid, and then my Aunt Bernie and my Uncle Frank, so that's actually 20 to our side. God. And then John's mom, John's <laughs> dad, John's stepmom, John's stepdad, that's his Aunt awkward. Annie. Hold on. Yep. That's really awkward. Yep. <laughs> that is not a Thanksgiving that I'd want to go to. Then he's got his Aunt Annie and his mom and his pup up. So yeah, we're looking at like a solid... Like 27 people. Yeah. Yeah. Good God. In one house. It's one a... One story <laughs> house. Me. Okay, so for pumpkin pie, do you use Cool Whip or whipped cream? Cool Whip. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you ever use whipped cream? Fuck no. No. I mean, it's it's just awful. Not, literally, yeah. the Cool Whip container has a pie on it, like, yeah, like half the time. Like, it's a slice there's, of pie with... one cool. happened one time. My grandma bought whipped cream instead of Cool Whip. And everybody was just like, are you, are you kidding me? Mm, what's wrong with you? Like, that we were like... <laughs> you so Leave like, your own house. Yeah, like, so, like, we're going to the store. So the next episode we're going to talk about is the exes episode, which I chose this particular one because Shane does not have a problem name dropping people. And he was just talking about all these exes that he had and just dropping names like it was nobody's business, which I mean, we lived in a small town. So who's to say that they wouldn't just like watch it and immediately be like, are you really talking about me? And I just thought that was funny. I thought that was pretty cool that Shane just didn't care and he just put it out there. Uh, for the sake of just being respectful, I cut the names from this highlight, but if you're one of Shane's exes, you know who you are, and you know that a story is probably about you. So, eh, <laughs> enjoy. Is this thing still recording? Yeah. I, I like the attention. You. Austin loves pizza. Austin does not love these hoes. I love, ooh. Oh. Shane has had some really nice girls though. <laughs> Joe, let's not even start. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exes episode. My last ex was just crazy, like, insane. I don't even know where to start, like. No. He was a skater boy, he sent me a high <laughs> <laughs> What's the shortest time you've ever dated somebody for? A day. Less than an hour. What? Less than an hour. Me? Yeah, me. Who? Actually, that's a lot. Mine might have been like six hours. However long a school day is, like. Yeah! Oh! Oh! That bitch was crazy.
Steve. Like, Keenan, like, gave her my number, and we started talking, and I was like, yeah, like, she's cute. Like, yeah, I'll be your boyfriend. And then, like, an hour later, I realized what I said, and I was like, my parents don't want me to have a relationship. <laughs> I dated her when I was in seventh grade, and for, it was, like, a day, and I was in the play, and that her? was... Yeah, she was in the play. No, like, the girl I just talked about? Yeah. Really talking about the same person? Just yes. Then? Oh, my God, that's and, incredible. And she, like... This one girl like said hi to me in the hallway, and she almost murdered me because she said hi to me, and I was like, oh, "You need to cut it. <laughs> you need you to go. cut it. Keep going." So then I dated this girl for an hour. Just kidding. Well, speaking of like crazy exes too, yo, this one chick I didn't even date. I was just talking to her. You know it's bad if you have a story about someone you used to just talk to. Exactly. <laughs> I do. So like I went to a party like I don't know two weeks ago, three weeks ago. On a Thursday night, got completely hammered, and... Shane likes beer! And I got a text message, and it was like, Hey, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, nothing. Drive around drinking soda. Right. They were like, oh. It was like, oh, so you're going to so-and-so's house, and I just never answered, but I have my red on, so... Yes, you opened it, did you? I opened it like a real motherfucker, okay? Fuck yeah. And I went and I did some beer bongs and next thing I know, I get a text and I get, where you at? Why are with you answering the, me? With the creepy smiley face, like the Android smiley face, not even like a normal like iMessage smiley face, like an emoji. It was like the, like the, semicolon, like the semicolon and little the, nose. Yes. And it was like, the, where you um, at? And, and like, yeah, it was like the real creepy one. Right? I didn't answer that. And then Avery grabbed my phone and he was like, sleeping in bed, ho. Said, what do you know? I wasn't sleeping in bed. Oh Two seconds God. later, Avery gets a phone call on the phone. And you get, uh, hey, me and are here. So I walk out front, and sure enough, this crazy bitch was sitting there and said, I'm here because you lied to me. My ex, mind you, okay, bought her like a nice $45 ring. That's not nice. It was. <laughs> it was nice for me. That's not nice at all. It was very nice. Because it was like one of like the seven gifts I got. All right, so you bought her a ring. Okay, I bought her a ring, regardless right. the price. I got this bitch a nice ring for working on a farm anyway, and she tell her not to litter all the time, and she just throws a cup out the window, and what do you know, the ring goes with it. She goes back to find it, and runs the fuck over the ring. Wow, this is why we can't have nice things. She hates me now. <laughs> My exes hate me too. You know you did it right uh, if... Uh, uh. They block you after your relationship. <laughs> ex's families? I've oh. never had an ex's family that didn't like me. I'm seriously the nicest guy ever, and every ex I've had, their family has hated me. No one wants a dick pic unless they ask for that, it. I, Do not kid, send like, a girl a picture like of this. yourself. Said, Shane and I are Eskimo brothers. <laughs> I didn't lick her butt. I did not touch her butt. Uh, nicknames you've had for your... A stupid bitch is my go-to. Maybe you should just start... With girls next. Maybe you're on to a new chapter. Yeah, low bit. key. Girls are gross and vaginas are ugly. That is not true. Not all vaginas are ugly. Yeah, that's not true at all. Yeah. Right. I'm not ashamed to admit when a guy looks good. Yeah, I'll, I'll be the first. What I does won't this even, have to do with I won't even dating a girl and saying a girl looks good? I'll date a guy. I'll date the shit out of Keenan. Like, why would you ever try to, like, re like get back with Just an don't. ex? And like, especially, if guys, like, if you've done it, like, a couple times before, like, like, listen, bitch. I gave you a chance, bitch. You fucked up, bitch. My Shake your ass. Watch yourself. <laughs> this next episode, we were a little more under the influence than we usually would get for these videos, and that was the Valentine's Day episode. Shane tells a really, really good story about going to a strip club and having a single mom give him a lap dance against his will. That was a really good episode to film with Shane. I had fun with that one. So this week I have Shane with me, and our topic today is going to be Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. The most I've ever done was cook a dinner for my ex. And well, I also bought her chocolate covered strawberries and a teddy bear. And that was like the most I've ever done. What'd she do for you? Anal. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not that time. There was an awkward pause. It was anal. <laughs> um, it took him a bit. He's I'm, stuttering. It was anal. I think she got me a frog. That's fucking stupid. I know. I would be so mad. I was fucking pissed. Um, frog? I'm a, I'm clear for Valentine's Day this year. First That's time. Think. First he time. He thinks he's safe. Yeah. Until he gets that text in the morning, thinking about you. And then he spends the whole day going, 
was she really thinking about me? And then he gets home from work and goes, well, what are you doing tonight? And she's like, I'm kind of hungry. And he's like, you want to go out to dinner? And now look at him. He's trapped. I refuse. All right. I, uh, <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> this, is, this is probably the first Valentine's Day in a couple of years that I'm not worrying about anything. I'm buying myself a Valentine's present. Got a Valentine's present last year. We are drunk at Georgie's house, like, the day before, it was either on Valentine's Day or the day before Valentine's Day, and my friend Steve painted this thing, and he posted on Instagram, and I was like, holy shit, like, I need this, so I got this from my friend Steve for Valentine's Day. I don't think my parents are really fans of Valentine's Day either. <laughs> oh, man. That's fucked up. My dad left when I was like three months, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the joke, that was the... <laughs> Here's a tip for Valentine's Day. Groupon is your best friend. Groupon, Groupon. is your best fucking What's friend. Groupon? Oh my god! You can buy like a earring, a necklace set... One earring? Like... <laughs> an earring like necklace set for like twelve dollars like some nice shit dude and i'm like fuck yeah. yeah that's my kind of website it's like a little app thing i'm thinking i might go to the strip club this year for valentine's day you know i've never been to a strip club i like I'm, i honestly I'm, i don't even have, have the desire, the desire to go you what, the, yeah, what the fuck am i gonna go spend money for a yeah. girl that i can't really do anything with like when i was single i'd rather just go on tinder and spend no money I'm ashamed to say it, but I have been. <laughs> you're not ashamed to say it. <laughs> Shut up, you're not ashamed. Actually, I'm ashamed because of one time, I'm pretty sure a single mom gave me a lap dance. Oh God, that's awesome. <laughs> she was like, she, she was a big girl, and my friends thought it was funny. <laughs> Keep going? <laughs> my friends thought it was I don't see where the bad part is. My friends thought it was funny, so like... It's funny. It is. And she was like putting her tits all in my face, and... My buddy, kid came out. No, my buddy goes, yeah. my buddy goes, he wants a lap dance. And I'm like, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. And she's like, come on, come on. She like kept whispering in my ear and my buddy hands her the money. And I'm like, you're a dick. Oh so the God, whole time we're awesome. walking by the stage and I was just like, fuck you. Not even looking. Like I didn't even realize she was a big girl. Right. Not like big girl. Big girls need loving too. Okay. But listen. I'm so excited for the rest of this story. <laughs> so we get in this dark room and I get like my five minute lap dance and I have a mom dancing on me right now and I feel so dirty. It's literally my dream. And <laughs> I walk out and then I was, I, I the light shined on her and I was like, shit. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> shit, that just happened. She ate my wallet. <laughs> Nobody likes Always show up with a Trojan Magnum and switch them out real quick so she doesn't know your wiener's small too. So the final one uh, I chose was the parties episode we did and I mean Shane has a lot of good party stories and if we could film another one I'm sure he would have like probably hours and hours of really good party stories. I know there's a bunch that didn't get told because they hadn't happened yet in that episode but some of the ones that he told were him pretending that he was part of a Russian frat and getting away with it having like a window kicked out while he after he had just yelled at somebody's mom his first party and his grandpa rescuing him from that honestly just great stories that really show Shane's like personality having a good time enjoying himself so check that out Check out his stories. I find them hilarious. Today's episode is going to be on parties. We'll all start with our first, first party. First party ever. Dude, it was green and gold. I told my grandma that I was going to a dance party. Because, yeah, who does that in 2010? I'm going to a dance party. And we had a party in there. My brother did. And he hands me a cup of alcohol. He's like, oh, just chug the whole thing right now. Hurry up, chug it, chug it, it, chug it. <laughs> so, of course, me chugging it. Well, here it was a full cup of Captain. Oh, oh my God. No. Forgot the Coke. With, like, literally this much Coke in it. And I was like, oh. Coca-Cola. Okay. Yeah. Anti-drug boys 2016. Yeah. So we see about six spotlights on the road over. Just obviously cop cars. And I'm standing out front. I'm, like, 14. They're like, how old are you? And I'm just like... 16 like making it seem <laughs> like, like it was a big deal like, better, like, like 16 and then like someone 
popped their head out the door and was like, who's here? And I was like, oh, it's just the cops. And next thing I know, I just heard the door go, boom. And you just hear the garage door open and footsteps everywhere. People just running That's away. Hilarious. And I was like, hmm, okay. Oh, shit. So I hopped in the truck with my grandpa and he was like, what happened here? And I said, we got called for a noise complaint. Don't tell grandma, he said, it's fine. I'll feel like listening to her bitch anyway. Oh, and that was my first party. Shane, have you ever been scared but, at a party? Me? Yeah. I knew I was getting jumped, but I went to the party anyway because I'm that kind of guy. So. Because <laughs> I'm a real one. No. And like, <laughs> if you don't like me and you say something about it, then I'm gonna say something. That's yeah, so just, leave your hate comments to yourself because Shane will find you. When I'm drunk. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, which is he's gonna time. sober, you can say whatever get drunk, you like, want to me. Later tonight and Actually, start reading I comments am, and be like, motherfucker. I'm gonna get drunk tonight because shout out to Kyle. It's his 21st birthday. Anywho. <laughs> from, from all the folks at Happy Hour, happy birthday, Kyle. Yeah, I showed up to this party and literally I had Kyle with me. And it was me, Kyle, and Sabrina drove us there. And I was supposed to go there to fight these two kids. Not there for literally three minutes. And this one kid like snuck me and then I beat him up. And as I was beating him up, I got jumped. So it was pretty That's cool. Whack. And then I went back into the car and the whole party. This was actually when I got scared. I can say I got scared because like I, I sobered up because my adrenaline was pumping. And I yelled at this kid's mom. Like she came outside and she's like, what the hell's going on? And I was like, fuck you, like, <laughs> they just jumped me, like, and then we went back in the car, and this whole part, like, if you just picture, like, dang, 50 Your people like surrounding a car, a like, oh god, like that Spongebob picture of the Krusty Krab with all the people <laughs> around in, in the the that's, That was us, dude, oh, and next god. thing I know, like, people are, like, kicking the girl's car, and this kid yeah. comes up to my window on the passenger side, and just went, boom, and just put his foot right through the window. Oh, shit. Broke the glass and everything, dude. I'll I was like, scared. let's get oh, down out of here, dude. Like, okay, that was all. Die I was a little scared then. I oh, forgot. God. I was. I was. I was terrified, dude. I'm gonna die here. There was a time at the power lines too. We were. This guy was like drunk, and we were just like this walking, and we were like carrying him up like this, and just holding him up. And we passed two state troopers that were breaking up the party. And I had a 30 pack in my hand. I like, thought you were carrying a dead body. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And I was like <laughs> underage as hell, like nervous. Like I'm walk by these state troopers. They're like, oh, what are you guys doing? And we're like, oh, we're just getting him to the car safe and going home. And he's like, oh, all right. He's not driving, right? And we're like, no, no, no. He's clean. He's not even like, walking. Dude, we're like, carrying him up yeah, like, this hill. Do you really walking. think he's driving? <laughs> really? He so, might not even be breathing right now. You think he's going to drop? So at this point, I'm like right next to these state troopers with a 30-pack in my hand. I was like, please don't stop me. Just, please don't stop me. And we were fine. We got to the car good. Tight. I went to a frat party. It was my first college party ever. This was like a couple months frat ago. Party? And it was, a, it was a frat party, and they were Russian. Like, see, so we went into this frat, and it was called Teague. And so, like, we just walked up in there like, oh, what's up, dude? What's up? What's up? And I went and played like flip cup because we were like one of the first few people there and like no girls were there yet. And so we're playing flip cup and this guy's like, oh, like, what's up? Like, are you rushing the frat? And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, so you go yeah. here? He's like, you thinking about joining? And I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe. I was like, this is my junior year. I was like, I commute. I live actually 10 minutes down the street. And he's like, oh, well, take my number. He's like, we're going to drink tomorrow. He's like, this is so awesome. You should definitely join. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll take your number. Yeah, what's your name? Nikolai. <laughs> should have made some shit. His name was Kev. Oh, really? The guy I talked to. Kevlovsky. So. It's pretty cool, though. They really thought I went there. And then, like, this girl who, like, they're... Because they're, there's, like, the frats and sororities, like, team up, I guess. Yeah. So, like, their sister whatever yeah. so they showed up and i actually know one of the girls in the sorority and she's like what the fuck are you doing here like, you're like i'm rushing shut the fuck up yeah i was like i'm <laughs> rushing like i, go I was here. like she's like you don't even go to college i was like i know like this I'm is rushing. Awesome. i go here shut up <laughs> <laughs> so like this is awesome uh your sister's engagement party oh where she like hired me to cook cook and you drank and, and drank you threw up in my sleep that <laughs> was awesome i was just like uh, oh yeah. like i was trying to do dishes and i was just like I'm gonna throw up. 
that <laughs> just threw up in the sink and like yeah, Austin, saw, Austin I saw Austin you just looked at me was he was like, just like bro I, I don't leave. feel good he's like I gotta leave he's like I didn't eat all day and I drank way too much I didn't you wanna know gross. you wanna know like the grossest party story I have <laughs> that night we were doing the wizard staff I was so drunk that I was sitting on Kevin's toilet like this and I was taking a shit and throwing up in between my legs in the toilet oh. that's pretty foul with the door with, told me. with the door wide open for everyone to see that's like this. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna do it, do it. Yeah. yeah. You should be happens, one of those, like, literally. older, like, dads that parties. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. That, like, you know, like, you the barbecue, like, you got, like, your hat, flipping burgers. And yeah, stuff. and the beers and the ham. Yeah. Hey, son, do you want to be my partner in Palm? Right. <laughs> no, dad. I'd be like, hey, Junior, hold the camera. I'm, I'm still trying to get YouTube views. <laughs> Cannonball off the roof into the pool. They're like, Dad, we don't have a pool. You're poor. <laughs> Whatever, just get a cup. <laughs> just get a cup. See, so you just touched my leg. No, I touched That's your fangs. You touched my leg. It was sus. your fangs. You're sus. You're sus. It was your fangs. You're sus. 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 You touched my leg. No, it's fangs. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. So that was the final highlight that we're going to be going through. Uh, thank you if you've watched this whole thing. Appreciate it. Feel free to go back and check out the full episodes. I tried to skim them down just so it would be Shane's stories because when it comes down to it, this video is about him. Missed you, buddy. Wish you were here. The whole time I was watching these, I was just like, man, like, I want to film more of these. Like, this was actually a really good time filming these. And the only person I honestly would want to make these videos with again is him. So... For anyone hoping for a happy hour comeback, it's not happening. If I can't do it with the people I want to do it with, it's not happening. I'll always be grateful for Shane always being down to come through, help me out. Always being down to talk, whether it was talking on camera and just having a good time, or just off-camera serious talks that we would have. Great person. Very, very great person. Missed the hell out of him. And I'm really grateful that I have these videos to look back on and laugh at and just cherish those memories. So thank you for watching. Social media links, description below. Check out my Etsy shop if you please. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite Shane story was or if you knew Shane personally, if you had a favorite story that in relation to Valentine's Day, parties, exes, family, anything, leave it down below. I think it'd be funny to have a good collection of funny Shane stories and put them all in one place. Memoirs of my friend. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time for another video.